Sounds like absolute perfection, Graham. Well, if you're at home and you're maybe tired of looking at some outdated furniture or you feel like your home needs a little bit of an interior revamp, then we've got some really, really great ways for you to transform your home without having to spend thousands and thousands of rands. Expresso recently met up with Melanie Ewing and Di Hutting, who gave us some really great tips on how to transform a flea market find with a French paint technique. They say that change is as good as a holiday, and when it comes to your interiors, paint is still the most cost-effective way of doing just that. It seems like paint effects are making a comeback, but let's go find out more. Rustic details and distressed surface finishes add warmth and charm to contemporary decor. Melanie Ewing and Die Hatting demonstrate how easy it is to do it yourself. Hi Melanie. Hi Ilza. Paint effects were really big a while ago. Are we seeing a comeback? There's definitely a comeback for paint techniques, and not in the same way it was a couple of years ago with the old-fashioned cloud techniques, but in a much more simpler, cost-effective way. And what are we doing today? Today we are paint techniquing two bedside pedestals with a French technique. And as you can see, Di start prepping that one over there, sanding to be primed, and this one has, be, has been primed. Right, so what do we need to get this process started? Okay, so obviously you need the item that you're going to be painting, and we've got a good quality uh, pine pedestal from our local pine merchant. Good quality uh, sandpaper to ensure you prepare your surfaces correctly, and um, great quality paint, which, which we've got today. So now that we've got everything that we need, where do we start? So what we've done is we've already primed one of the pedestals and allowed it to dry and we're going to apply a little bit of coffee paste to the, to the pedestal to create that wood tone underneath. I can see that the coffee really creates that depth that you mentioned earlier. Yeah, and the great thing about coffee is it dries really quickly so we can move right on to the next step. If you wouldn't mind passing me that red there and what we're going to do is apply a coat of that. So what's really important about this paint technique is the layers. So we're going to apply a little bit of a, a red paint at the bottom. And the key to a French paint technique is really not trying to be too perfect. Melanie uses Dulux water-based pearl glow. For this technique, typical French country colors like soft shades of blue and rustic reds work best. Allow the paint to dry completely before waxing. Melanie, why exactly are you using candle wax? What the wax actually does is it seals certain parts of the paint. So once we've applied the next color and we start sanding down, it starts to give you that 3D look and your, your different colors start to show through. And also it gives us that older look. Today we're doing that sort of French worn look. But you obviously get a very elegant French look where you would want everything to be extremely smooth. So in this case, we want to give the effect that the cabinet is very, very old and the candle wax will help with that. We've sanded it down a bit now and you'll see that the edges are starting to show. And when sanding, focus on the edges because that's where furniture is worn. And what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, apply the next paint technique. So you're going to get your hands dirty. Oh and we're going to use a little bit of French blue. And all we're going to do is apply it over the top. Okay, so what we've done is we've done all the finishing touches now. And you can see we've been quite slapdash about the way we've applied the paint, but that's the point. And what we're going to do is we're going to sand it again. We're going to add the final coat of paint, which is a slightly lighter blue, a bit of a French blue. And then once that's dry, we're going to add something really special to it and we'll be done. OK, so Ilza, you can see we're pretty much done now. Um, and it's come through with a lovely uh, French technique with the, where the, the colours underneath show through. To take it to another level, if you really wanted to, you could add just a little bit of grey-brown paint along the edges to give it a little bit more worn look. Or you could do what Di's doing and adding a little bit of gold paste to your edges. It really sort of upscales it a bit. And voila! It's beautiful. <laughs> Hi ladies. Wow, I must say, this is quite a different application um, using Dulux Pearl Glow. I see you've actually used different colours and layered the paint and giving this beautiful French effect. Now usually people just use one colour on their furniture and trim, but this is quite an unusual application. 
I've also noticed you've got quite a bit of paint yes. left over and this is actually the, the ideal piece to just uplift a little, a little corner in your room. And maybe what we can do is just use the leftover paint and create an artwork to complement your lovely piece of furniture. Absolutely. Sonica transforms a blank canvas using leftover paint and a big paintbrush. Like the technique used on the furniture, your artwork need not be perfect. Simply have fun. Well, Sonica, that's really a creative way of using those leftover paints. <laughs> Yes, not all of us are artists, but uh, that little bit of leftover paint, you can try your hand at it, and who knows, you might come up with something creative. Well, from a flea market pickup to a laid-back French-style pedestal, with a dash of paint, you can give your old furniture a charming second life. Adding colour to your morning with Espresso and Dulux.